He's Ray Ferraro down at ice level. My name is James Sabalski for EA Sports, set to bring you what should be a fun one here tonight. The Comets have a chance to close things out. How big is that for them tonight? Well, you'd love to get through as quickly as possible. You Absolutely. get guys rested, you get guys through healthy, and you get on to the next round. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. The Comets gain possession along the wall. Here they come up along the wing. Puck grabbed by Anderson. And he can't hang on after that hit. Slides it up front. The Eagles have a hold of it in the defensive zone. The Comets scoop it up along the boards. Berchie's caught with the stick, and the officials are signaling for a hooking penalty. And he slides it quickly to Hamilton. There's the whistle, and the official set to give the call. The good old-fashioned hook is sending him off to the box. He's almost in the right position, but he's got to give him a little hook. When he gives that tug, he goes to the penalty box. It gets called every time. A chance to capitalize here on the power play. Well, they'll get their first power play in a game that is scoreless. Take advantage if you can. See if you can get on the board or at least get your team a leg up. Back at the point, they set it up. Moves into the slot. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Trying to dump it out. And that one's blocked. Man, shoot it off the glass. Get it out of there. A chance in front. Knocked away. Grabs the puck here in their own end. A chance! Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. Graevax got it across the line. The Comets carry it along the wall. Receives the pass. The Eagles get a hold of the puck under man. On their heels, trying to clear. The Comets fail to capitalize on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. We are still tied. Pretty hard to have a more low intensity power play than. And it's in the back of the net! Wow, oh, this was quick! Hard to believe the game can change so quickly. An early score, and it is something that nobody quite expected. He kept moving in that high slot, looking for an area that might be open. Then the puck's on and off his stick. Nice shot. Utica's got this crowd rocking again early. They've been known for a quick start, and here they are out in front before the other team settles into the game. Timmons plays the puck. Stays with it. The Comets have it from their own end. Handles the puck. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Eagles get a hold of the puck along the boards. Salamaki's got it into offensive territory. Keeps hold of the puck. Right to the middle, and that's picked off in front. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. The Comets gain control of the puck against the wall. From the slot, wrist shot off the stick. Really good puck control by the goalie as he gets it out of danger. Centering pass, denies him in front. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Utica's got it in the defensive zone. Puck scooped up by Perron. Steps inside the line. And that one flies over the net. The Eagles have it against the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Sends it across the ice. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Here he is in front, and that goes off a player. Moves it over to Perron. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Nice pass. The Eagles played along the wing. Utica's got the puck along the boards. 
They go on the attack through center. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Big time play right there. Utica's done a really nice job positionally tonight. They've stolen the puck every time, it seems, when they needed to. Strong defensive effort. Tries to get it over to Hamilton. Feeds the puck to Bailey. And he slides it quickly to Berchi. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Burroughs takes it along the wing. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Krajovac won it. Scoops up the puck here. The Comets take it along the wing. Here they are on the attack. Shot gets in front of it. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. With the steal. Utica's got the puck against the half wall. Looks to set up along the point. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Keeps possession on the play. Pumps the puck away. Regains control here in the neutral zone. Across the line and on the attack. graveback has got it in the defensive zone. Here's a chance. Slides it across. Traps that puck tight to his chest. And we're going to get a whistle here. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it aside. Past the midway mark of the frame. James and Ray with you tonight. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And he loses control of the puck. Scrum ensues along the boards. Utica's got a hold of it along the wall. Handles the puck at the point. Taken along the wall by Birchie. Comes up with the stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Up, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. The Comets have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities and as a result, more goals. Nice job tying up his opponent. Colorado's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Gilbert slowed down with the hook and the official's arm is in the air. And now it's over to tries. Nothing doing on that. Picked up along the boards by McDonald. Moves the puck. Through the neutral zone, it goes to the middle. Here's a shot, shuts him down. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Takes a shot, blocked in traffic. Puts it up front, here he is in close. Wide of the net. Their effort on this four check is really extending this shift. Shot on, he misses an opportunity there. Looking to be too perfect. Get it on the net. You've got a better chance to squeak one through the goaltender than if you miss it outside the net. Banks has been nabbed for hooking on the play. Even though he's going to argue this, I mean, there's nothing to argue about. His stick gets across the player's midsection. It's a penalty. Man advantage unit is set. There have been times over the last couple of weeks where this power play looks great, other times not so good. But this is a key moment in this game, a chance to tie it up with the man advantage. The Eagles move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends a pass over. Timmins looks around. Shot! Oh, just wide of the net! It doesn't matter how close it is, if it's not on the net, it can't go in. Hangs onto the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Now he takes it over the line. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Puts it on net, denied by the goaltender. Salamaki's looking to make something happen here in the corner. He scores! Now the power play pumps through. They move the puck nicely and they're able to capitalize on the extra man.
if you can work yourself in that close to the net and then get loose, man, you're just hoping somebody can find you. He won times that for a goal. Here in the late going of the frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Eagles win it at center ice now. He grabs the puck. Good hit on the play. Colorado sliding the puck behind the net. Battling for it along the boards. Moves it to Sherwood. Comes up with the stop. The Comets gain possession along the wall. Pokes the puck away. Utica's ready to go on the attack. Taken by Sherwood. He grabs the puck here at the point. Maintains possession. Takes the feed. From one point man to another. Takes a shot, and that's blocked. The Comets scoop it up along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Sherwood. Oh, that's a smart heads-up play as he breaks it up with the poke. Utica's got the puck along the wall. Manages to hang on. Here's the chance to set up now. The Eagles will play it from the defensive zone. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. The Eagles have it in the offensive end. The Comets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Takes a shot, and that goes wide. The Eagles gain control of the puck against the wall. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Good battle along the boards for the puck. The Comets have it against the wall. Dumps it in. Colorado's got the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Stays with it. There's the go-ahead goal, and we have a new game. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guys back on their heels. He's able to work his way into the low slot to take that pass. He doesn't stop it, so the goalie can't catch up to it. Got a one goal lead here in the first. What's the message on the bench, Ray? The message is to be aggressive, to get another one, to try and stretch a lead that you've just built. Smart defensive play there. And with the sound of the horn, that brings some finality to the opening period, and we've got a close one. Fans, take a look to the sky. The home team Zeppelin is going to try it. And in your way, all intermission long. Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh in this second period about set to get underway. Tries wins it. Puck picked up by Anderson. Keeps a hold of it on the play. The Comets have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Timmins. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Takes the feed. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Quick feed to tries. Utica's looking to break out of their own end. Into the offensive end now. Wicked blast! 
Oh, he's trying to be perfect with that shot, and he just misses wide. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Here's a chance right in the slot. Comes up with the blocker save. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Off his stick. Scores! That's three unanswered now. Oh, there seems to be no way to stop them. They got one, and it seemed like the momentum just changed so far in one team's favor. It's a snowball effect now. Oh, he doesn't miss on the one-timer. He absolutely powders the perfect pass. The Eagles have gone up by two here in this second period. Really like the way they've gone about their business. Yeah. They haven't lost any of their aggressiveness. They've still stayed and tried to forecheck. I like it, and they deserve this two-goal lead. Now a quick pass to McDonald. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Can't keep a hold of it. Slides that one right across the blue line. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Not able to connect. The Eagles will play it in their own end. And the puck departs the zone. Pinned up along the boards. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Utica's got it in their own zone. Puck picked up in the open ice. Moved to the middle, can't connect. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. A chance denied by the goaltender. Since the beginning of the playoffs, he has been really good. One of the league leaders in playoff goals. He seems to score almost every night. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Colorado's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Sends the pass over. Takes that one right in the logo. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. Breeze Boss used to contributing offensively. This pointless streak is not something that you usually see from him. Colorado's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking on all cylinders thus far. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Pass back to the point. Utica's got control of it now from their own end. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Through center along the wing. Utica's got the puck in their own end. And now he tries to get it across to Malone. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Takes the pass. Slides the puck over. Lawson receives the pass. Made the save on the play. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Colorado's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Handles the puck. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. Colorado's got the puck along the wall, and they'll dump it in. The Comets have it from their own end. From off the wall and onto a stick. Gets the puck over to Perron. Excellent stick work on the play. Snapper from the slot. Oh! What a chance! Oh, James, he tried to get rid of that in a hurry. He just misses. Cutting to the front of the net. Came up with the save on that play. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. A chance in front. Turns it away. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Wagner swooping in on the attack. Oh, smart heads on play to poke that one away. Berchie's got it along the wing. Takes a shot, and he went too high on that one. Trying to get it right under the bar, and he zips it up over top of the net. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Here's a short pass to Bailey, and tries to make a diagonal pass to Berchie. Moves it around along the half wall. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Colorado's got it in their own zone. The Comets get a hold of it. Colorado's 
gained possession along the boards. Into the attacking end. Drills them. Right in the slot. Puts it in for the goal. And the rookie is on the board. What a nice way to jump into your first playoff year. You get on the board and you can relax a bit. The good thing he one times this puck. The goalie almost gets there. But the pass is on his tape in the low slot. And he beats him clean. Colorado's on cruise control now. Is that fair to say? It is, and it looks like they're going to try and get another couple of goals here. They're not letting down at all. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Eagles gain possession along the wall. The Comets going to work on offense. Blocked in front. That opportunity is rejected. The Eagles have it now. Sends it over to Sherwood. Nice pass back. Nice pass. Gains the zone on the left wing. Shot in front. That one's off the blocker. Takes that pass back at the point. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Colorado's got it in the neutral zone. Moves the puck. Centering pass. Stones him with the blocker. Colorado's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Puck has dropped, and we are back underway. Battle along the boards. Utica's looking to break out. Can't maintain possession. The Eagles are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and a lead in the second. Steps in and takes the puck. And puts it just wide. The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. Inside the offensive zone. Moved out in front. Glove save, and the play continues. Trying to get back on the attack now. Colorado's playing it through center. Pokes it away in his own end. Moves it to Malone. Sends a pass over. Quick pass to Dickinson. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Here's an odd man rush. The Comets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Across the line from center. Wagner's got it in the defensive end. Barron's got the puck along the wing. The Comet scoop it up along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Anderson. Slides it across to Dickinson. Steps inside. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Pumped away from danger. Moves it quickly over to Stevens. The Eagles take possession in the neutral zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And it's a quick pass to Salamaki. Gains the zone from the right. The Comets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Here's a blast off target. Probably better off to take a little off the shot and get it on target. He's nowhere near the net. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. The Eagles with a total team effort to this point as they lead comfortably here in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Takes the feed. Scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. Wow, this is like a practice drill here, James. He's so open in the high slot. The pass is on the shooting spot, and he just hammers it home. A 
And we're going to see a swapping of the goaltenders. That'll do it for him, mercifully. This has been a long night. Colorado's showing no signs of letting up tonight. I don't think they want to. Why stop? Keep playing the game to score. Keep trying to push your opponent backwards. They've had a great night. Takes the feed. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. The Eagles take it along the wall. Too much traffic in the lane. Grabbed along the boards by Sherwood. Nice poke check. Sends the pass over. Bailey's got it on the offensive end. Almost lost the puck, but hey, and he rings the post! Utica's effort really has been fine throughout this game, but they're down a bunch. They'd like one bounce to go their way, but not there. Sends it down low. One time blast! Stones him on the play! Bailey's been shaking his head since this shot hit the goalpost and deflected away. Colorado's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. Offensive zone faceoff, and he wins the draw. <laughs> Referee singling the late penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The Comets have been called for hooking. A uh, step, a step and a half out of position, and you get called reaching out to try to slow your opponent down. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Salamaki. Back to the point it goes. And that one's broken up. Great block there. And the period has come to an end in what has been a very one-sided affair tonight. Did you know that season ticket holders get special discounts and access to insider information? Check our website for details. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. Hope you're having a great night. Two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. The Comets win the draw and get their penalty-killing unit off to a good start. Uticus on the attack. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Along the wing up the neutral zone. The Comets gain control of the puck against the wall. Great poke check on the reach. Picked up along the wall by Berchi. The Comets gain possession of the defensive zone. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Time running out with this man advantage. Here we go. Anderson's got it along the boards. Jostled off the puck. Quick feed to Timmins. Handles the pass from the right wing. They don't score on the power play, but they accomplish a little bit here. They melt some time off the clock. They don't need the goal, but they don't want to make any big mistakes. Takes a nice feed up through the middle now. Takes the pass. From in close, and that goes off a player in front. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Scrum along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Eagles will play it from the defensive zone. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Here's a short pass to Timmins. Wrists one, stones him in front. Here comes the call. Ray, it looks like tripping. It's amazing how coaches get angry with a tripping penalty, but they don't seem to say much if it's a boarding penalty. It's still two minutes. Two is two, yeah. What just seems lazier, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, maybe I don't want to hit anybody, and I take a <laughs> tripping penalty. Safety first. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. 
When you've already scored on the power play and you get one now, you can't wait to get over the boards to get started again. He scores! That's three on the road. I can't imagine too many hats being tossed, though, here. No, they're not going to be. I mean, this is a terrific game for him. He's got three, and you're right. On the road, nobody's throwing their bucket. If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that passes on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. Colorado's taking a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro School of Hockey here. Just be aggressive, goal when after you, goal. Man, when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down, go get more. Because you make yourself feel better, you build your own confidence, and you put this thing on cruise control. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. That goes off a twig. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Puck battle along the boards. From the neutral zone now. The Eagles gain possession in their own end. They've got numbers. Takes a wrist shot, and that banks off a stick. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Moves it to Banks. Slides the puck over. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. And the play's whistled dead. Let's get the call. Holding is the call, something you probably would have got away with in, say, the 90s. Oh, you would have got away with a lot more than that in the 90s. Right now, the standard's way tighter. I like it better now. The Comets once again send out their power play unit. Oh, here's another power play, James. They haven't been very good so far tonight. Nothing to show for their previous attempts. So now you have to get back to it, adjust, and re-attack on this man advantage. Puck cleared from the defensive end. The Comets have it against the wall. And now he angles it across to Bailey. Here he is, shot right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Colorado's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Tries has it in their own end. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Strong defensive effort. And he regains control of the puck. And he denied that opportunity. Smothered that in close chance. Colorado's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Good job tangling up his opponent here. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Utica's got a hold of it against the wall. Receives the pass. Down the right side and into the zone. And the power play comes up empty. Both teams back to even strength. All a good power play. Scores! Finally! I don't know how much better that's going to make them feel. I mean, they've given up so many here. No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. The Comets still have a lot of catching up to do, but they have something to build on now. Yeah, they do, and I think what they can look forward to is the buzzer is closer to the ah, end of the game. Oh, you went there, huh? Utica's, Utica's got the puck in the defensive end. Score by Grabs it in his own end. The Comets move to the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Denies him on the play. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Utica's got a hold of it along the wall. Fails to find the open man. From the point, they take control of it. Here's a shot. Scores! They barely fished the puck out after the last one. Two goals in 70 seconds. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, the defending team just couldn't put a stake in the ground. They couldn't stop them. Get to the net. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there, and he puts it away. Utica's got to be thinking more and more offense here now in the third. No reason to sit back. You're in a hole here. You need goals, and you need lots of them. Attack. 
Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Puck dumped in. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Utica's got the puck along the boards. And that pass goes awry. Handles the puck. They score. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Eagles have really opened it up here in the third period. Impressive offensive performance coming from everybody they've kept their foot on the gas it's been in a relentless offensive attack number 13 Ryan dumps it into the ozone Utica's got the puck along the wall exploring options here inside the defensive zone battling for it along the boards Wagner's working it around in the corner and that skips away on a nice defensive deflection grabs the puck here in the neutral zone Nice pass. The Comets looking against the half wall. He was right there and they can't convert. Snaps it on net and no one's blocked from the place 99 made famous. The Comets carry it along the wall. Makes the glove stop. Oh, you can see the shooter. He looked straight up to the sky. He thought that was past the goalie, but the tender made enough of a save to keep the puck out of the net. The Eagles' offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Moves the puck. Colorado's got it along the wall. Can't connect. The Eagles played along the boards. Stevens has it in the defensive end. Puck sent over to Perron. Gains the zone through center. Here's a chance out front. On the attack along the boards. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Solid check to slow him down. The Eagles gain possession along the wall. Comes up with a stop. Utica's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Looks to pass it to Hamilton. Tries to get the puck over to Berchi. And they fail to go tape to tape. Scrum along the boards. The Comets gain control of the puck against the wall. Can't keep a hold of it. Colorado's moving it along the wing. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Sends a pass over. Into the offensive zone. And we've got a two-on-one. Misses wide of the net. Most dangerous place on the ice. And he can't capitalize. Cuts to the paint. That's blocked. Bailey's on the attack in the offensive zone. Jabs the puck away. With possession along the wall. Scrum ensues along the boards. The Comets have it against the wall. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Taken along the wall by Bailey. And makes the save. They're working really hard these days to make sure when they stop the puck, it doesn't stay in front of them. If they can't stop it and catch it, they want that puck in the corner. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Takes the feed. The Eagles scoop it up along the boards. Great hand dive by the goaltender, poking it away. Rocks him on the play. Let's the wrister fly. Stops him with a paddle. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Up along the wing. On the doorstep, and he comes up with it. And they can't connect. Colorado's moving it up the ice. Move to the middle. Denies him on the one-timer. The Comets move the puck in the defensive zone. Utica's got it along the wall. Keeps hold of the puck. That's his second. 
Their line has played really well, James. I like the way they've moved the puck, and finally they're rewarded again. He's got them both. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. The Comets have a long way to go still here in the third. I guess you get your scorers out there and you try and keep climbing out of a hole, but it's not very pretty right now. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Driving right to the front. Tosses it on to Malone. Along the half wall with the puck. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Grabs it in his own end. And now he moves it to Malone. Less than 60 seconds to play in this blowout. Penalty coming up here. A little too, little too late, and I'm sure some people in this building would have wished the clock would have just run out. You call that a hatchet job with that slash? I call that chopping broccoli right there. <laughs> Very good reference. The Eagles win it in the defensive zone. There's the whistle as the puck heads out of play. The Eagles are in the home stretch of this one, leading big time in the third. Grayovacs won the draw here in the offensive zone. And that one's broken up. And now it's grabbed by Salamaki. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Utica's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the feed. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Oh, what a stop! Grayovac's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. And puts it high over the net. That's a long way to score in that position of the net. He's got to get it on the net more often to play for a rebound. Pretty good work on the two-on-one. The defenseman gives the goalie the shooter, and he makes the save. Colorado's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. Hamilton's won the draw. Sends it out right in front, and there's the save. Great goaltending, solid defending, and great offensive efforts, and it all adds up to move it on. The centermen glide into position. Hamilton's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And that brings an end to this one here this evening. And with that win, they push them to the brink of elimination. This is such a critical game in a series. So pivotal. You get up three games to two. Now you got a couple of cracks to put this away. And you know your opponent's are going to be feeling the pressure now. In a one-game showdown, the best team doesn't always win in those cases. This case, the best team did. I would agree. When you get into multiple games against the same opponent, flukes go out the window, and the team that deserves to win likely does. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.